NASA has been fine-tuning its new eye in the sky for decades. The James Webb Space Telescope is about 100 times more powerful than the Hubble, and it could help astronomers see back through time. The power that this telescope has is unparalleled by what we have now. So, yeah, it's exciting. The James Webb is big and complex. Its mirror is more than two and a half times the size of the Hubble and constructed of 18 gold-plated beryllium segments that can be folded for launch. It also has a huge sunshade that once unfurled is the size of a tennis court. The engineering that has gone into ensuring that once it gets to orbit, once it gets into space, that it will actually unfurl properly, that, that has been decades worth of work. The James Webb is being launched to a point some 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. In comparison, the Hubble is only about 600 kilometers away. It's also an infrared telescope, which means its aperture registers light waves that have been stretched until invisible to the human eye. The same way that when you're listening to a train track and the train comes to you, you hear the sound changing, whether the train is coming at you or going away. You have the same phenomenon with light. The telescope will be able to penetrate the large dust clouds that surround stellar nurseries to see stars being born. It can also capture images from the first galaxies as they formed around 13 billion years ago. What happens is those objects that are at the far end of the universe, they're the ones that are moving fastest away from us because they're, they're at, at the limit of the expansion. The James Webb Space Telescope will look at objects in the infrared, so we'll be able to see further out in time. Among Canada's contributions is a near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph. It will allow the telescope to also capture images of exoplanets and analyze their chemical composition. If you have a telescope that can tell you exactly what the conditions are like on another planet orbiting another star, then we can start answering questions about whether or not life is common or not in the universe. It will take about a month for the James Webb to get to its destination and around six months before it's fully online. And the process will be tricky. Unfurling the sunshade will take 29 days. And it's going to be a nail biting 29 days because Many of those mechanisms are extremely complicated and have never been used. Something of that complexity has not been used in space. Astronomers have their fingers crossed, and if everything goes according to plan, we can expect a steady stream of some really incredible images. Alyssa Julie, Global News. Thanks for watching Global News. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.